I'm going to OSU and I'm going to study aerospace engineering. I'm going to Ohio University and I am running track and cross country and I will be studying environmental plant biology. I'm going to the major of architecture. I'm deciding right now probably between the DAP program at Cincinnati or just going to OSU and going to their architecture school. I will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and majoring in psychology. Um, I'm going to be going to Ohio State and I'm going to major in biology on the pre-medicine track. I am going to Ohio State University and I'm going to major in neuroscience. I'm going to go to Indiana Tech for volleyball and I'm pretty sure I'm going to major in marketing. I've really uh, thought about architecture a lot um, from doing a lot of uh, art classes at Thomas as well as uh, going through the STEM program. I think like during COVID and everything I took biomed and we were talking about that stuff and that was really interesting and it made me want to pursue medicine more. Luckily at Thomas we were able to take um, uh, an architecture and design class uh, junior year so whenever I was able to take that class uh, I really got like sort of introduced into the subject which pushed me more towards the idea of uh, majoring in college. My counselor actually recommended that I take an OSU class and I ended up taking a medicine class which was like really interesting and I really liked it and then when I took AP psychology I really liked the brain part of it I guess so yeah that kind of all combined. I took AP environmental as a junior and I would say that really shaped like that was a very solidifying like class that helped me solidify my choices to like, oh, I want to go into environmental sciences. I liked the Mr. B, he, like the way he taught the class. He was very, he's very charismatic and it was still a very interesting class even though we were in COVID and it was um, distance learning, like he still was able to make the class interesting. Mrs. Galasso, um, she was a really, really great person to have. Um, when like learning about that stuff because she was really able to communicate well uh, with us and explaining how stuff like or that stuff worked and all the topics and stuff like that. Mrs. Burns is my counselor and she gave me lots of opportunities and like information that I wouldn't have known if she didn't reach out to me and she was really involved in things that I was interested in so, so I was able to like be updated on different programs that I could be a part of and stuff so that was really helpful. I always really liked science um, and I thought like medicine and helping people was interesting um, and then at Thomas, Miss Hatto, who's a biology teacher, I just really really loved that class. My AP physics teacher, Mr. Williams, he was always really hard on me but no, he kept me in, on track and made me work harder. Thomas volleyball specifically made me fall in love with the sport because the head coach, um, Brian Lawless, he's just he's a really good coach. He just he helps you get better and he just makes um, he just makes everything feel easier. You know, I feel like a lot of places aren't really worth it. I feel like it's just the people and the environment. I feel like it's very accepting and there's so many different things to do and there's so many different classes that no matter what you can find people and things that you enjoy and other people who enjoy it too. We have so many different programs and clubs and things that you can join and it's very inclusive and um, you can make some great connections here. We have so many opportunities to so many different things like if I want to do art I have the opportunity to do art. If I want to do sports I have the opportunity to do sports there, and there's like you have um, the, the teachers who help you up in the card center like there's so many like support systems and opportunities to get into stuff that you've never done before. And overall, the people are pretty friendly. Uh, well, you know, Worthington's a special place. I mean, there, you know, there's not too many places like it when you can go around and you know, everyone's friendly. You can talk to anyone. I mean, it's a really, really close community. Um, it's really like one big family, especially here at Thomas.